Okay. Um, having shown you um, an example of a circular one before, um, I feel guilty about not having demonstrated it. Um, a lot of people have asked me to show them how to do it, so um, I'm showing you now. I've already drawn the um, uh, the radials from the um, centre outwards, and the way I did that was to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line, then draw a circle from the intersection, then divide the um, quadrant with a pair of compasses. So, so if you open your compasses to anything more than halfway, tick, put it on the top, tick, where they intersect, I didn't do it more than halfway, did I? Tick, and then um, tick, and it'll come somewhere there. Um, just roll it through, so you've divided it up into 45 degree sections, then take the 45 degree section, divide that in half, then take, so that's 22 and a half degrees, then take the 22 and a half degree section, divide that in half, and then probably I'd be, uh, I'd be doing it again. This will make quite a chunky one, but I, I'd probably do it again to, to that sort of size. But for the purpose of demonstration, I'll keep it, keep it simple. So what you've got to do is to uh, make something approximating a, a square. So if I take this distance here and mark it off here, it seems to be longer, doesn't it, than, um, than a square even though that's the same, it, it's a, a bit of a, it's not actually a square. So what I do is to approximate what seems to be a square like that. That looks about as near to a, maybe there, but as near to a square as I can get it. Quite a bit less. Then I take my compasses, open it out to here and then draw my circle. Oops. Don't know if you can see that. I hope so. Not drawn very well. And then I do the same thing again for the next one. So again, about maybe there seems there seems to be a square-ish. So all the time these are um, reducing but remaining in proportion. So there we are. Whoops. Oh, it's difficult. To, I don't normally do this heavily. And I don't normally, I wouldn't normally do these radials all the way into the centre. I only did it uh, just so it was more obvious in this video. I'd normally just just draw the lines roughly about the, the width I was going. So, so there's my grid, the two unit grid, no different to a... Um, border design except it's curved so now what we do is to put in the um, circles in the centers of each of the squares and in the intersections like this okay now I'm too lazy to do all that so what I'm going to do is get, I've got a magic fairy that does this. So I'm going to get the magic fairy to, to do that now. And um, I'll come back to you. So, ding! So there, she's done it. Um, not very well, I have to say. Um, you know, I mean, look at the size of that compared to that. Or that compared to that. Um, 
but she's still under training so you've got to forgive her and she's very young I tried to teach her but it's not easy um, and she's missed one out there yeah. um, so now you um, do your parallel pairs and um, exactly the same way so let's just do a couple here And you'll see that there's a slight um, distortion. You get a slight narrow because you're going inwards. They're, they're not purely parallel, but don't worry too much about that. It'll sort itself out. So, like that. Well, um, I'll leave the rest of them to my uh, magic fairy if she's capable of coping with it ding so there we are she's done it and again i think uh, not very well at all but um because i think she's missed a pair out look i don't know you can't trust these fairies um yeah Okay, so um, all she's got to do now, and I'll do the first couple, is the um, uh, the sides. So exactly the same as on the very first one that you did, bouncing off the sides, making sure they connect nicely, unlike the magic fairy did actually um, of course there's no corners on a circle as you probably appreciate um, you just have to decide so in that way it's simpler but you won't do this with drawing instruments you know when you think about it this is a curve it's going to be a curve do you see it's a curve, so you, you don't do don't do all this with a roller. You you spend forever, and it won't be worth it. Um, it's much better to do it, much nicer to do it freehand anyway. So I'll just leave the magic fairy to complete that. Ding. Well, there you are. She's done it. Um, so that's completed um, again not very well I mean god look at that just there that look, that should be the same which as that it's terrible and there look across there loads of places where it's not very oh, not joined there so but um, she is young and inexperienced un unlike me who's been practicing it for many 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 years and done hundreds of them so you know I try and teach her anyway so that's that complete I, as I say I wouldn't normally have the um, all, all these heavy guidelines I would do it very light um, and then you know <clears throat> maybe I'd, I'd color it or shade it or or whatever um, she said if you think she's going to shade it you can think again um, she was complaining that her arm was aching so um, anyway there is the uh, circle <laughs>